Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. I wonder if you're like me when you watch YouTube videos where you know people's intros so well that you say it out loud along with the person. Um, that was my biggest thing when I started the channel was like, how am I gonna do my intro and my song? It's gotta be, it's gotta be poppy. It's gotta be something people remember. Listen, some people love my intro and some people hate it. You can fast forward through it, but you can't tell me that Arby's with Gabby isn't an earworm that catches you. Okay, I'm standing in front of this little Aurora. Okay. I've done a video on the 16 BHX before when it first came in. It's got mixed reviews, right? And this morning I'm like, man, we have a lot of these BHXs. And then I realize that doesn't say BHX, Gabby. That says 16 RBX. Here I am getting the floor plans wrong. I don't even know what's in my lot. That's ridiculous. So um, I'm gonna go through this floor plan with you because I think it's a really cute camper for couples. Super killer discount price. I'm talking like eyes popping out of your head. Now, keep in mind, I don't talk about pricing on my channel, guys, because it varies from week to week. It varies by rebates, it varies by discounts. Right now we are having our grand opening sale, right? We, we all just, we're all converting from all our names to be one big blue compass wave across America. So I just gotta make sure that um, I don't give you pricing and then, and then things change and model your changes and things like that. So keep that in mind. That's why I don't go over the exact pricing on my on my YouTube, but I pray and I hope that you love these videos and you contact me directly for me to help work the best deal for you to get out there and go camping. And without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, we start up front with this little Aurora Light by Forest River 16 RBX. And you've got your rock guard, you've got your 20 pound single propane tank, your integrated A-frame. Uh, looks like you've got one big panel for the front that cuts right across the top there. There's a second panel. Nice big gold and black and gray uh, color scheme up front here. Super clean looking. Uh, neat little feature considering the fact how small this unit is and the price point. There is a battery disconnect. This is huge for storage guys to prevent your battery from draining accidentally. Um, moving on down the line here, here is your awning. All right, negative that I figured out is on the inside, the panels by the opposite wall. So I can't look at my awning while I'm bringing it in and out, which is kind of frustrating. But Aurora has this really neat little special feature. It is one of the only models out there where that LED light strip is multicolored. So right now you can probably barely tell because of how blue the sky is here in Orlando, but you've got a blue LED light strip that you can change colors. That is one of the features that everybody loves. It's remote controlled multicolored awning. Great for kids, big fan of that. Um, you do have a JBL sound system. It's got the speaker on the exterior so you can listen to music. You are wired for solar. You can, you're wired for up to 600 watts at 30 amps of solar. Uh, I cannot uh, begin to describe to you how many people are asking if solar is standard. And a model like this, you may not need it. I mean, this is really something small that you're gonna be going camping, uh, Jetty Park, Wakaiwa Springs, down in the Keys, where there's actual campsites. I don't know that you necessarily, you know, a small weekender. I don't think you'll be uh, full timing in this, trying to go out to the desert and disappear. Big deal. You are Wi-Fi LET, uh, LTE, LET prepped uh, RV link. So you could get a hotspot in here if you really wanted to guys by Magnadyne. It's a new system they're putting on all my Auroras and it's a big deal. So you can have uh, Wi-Fi and you can, wherever you go, you can have internet. Okay. A uh, double entry step. It is a man, uh, you know, one of those pull out stairs. I know I've talked on my channel about the upgraded step above stairs. You could always upgrade that if you'd really like to storage up front here, magnet latch guys, no clips. That's great. So if kids run by they rip it down just because they're kids i remember one time i cut a telephone wire when i was eight years old sorry mom and dad because it was just in the way <laughs> kids do things like that um this is a magnet latch so you don't have to worry about them ripping the clip off you can see the plywood construction in here guys plywood floors plywood bases there's no particle board um and you've got lots of storage 
in this, it's almost a full pass through. There's no cutout on the other side. I believe there's a water tank right there, but uh, this is also the base of the bed. Now, moving on down the line, we've got your arrowhead tires here, okay, with a black rim, which is pretty nice and clean. It looks like you've got a little bit of uh, protection there in case of a blowout. You've got a leash link down here for your four-legged pets and family members in case you want them to hang out with you underneath your awning. And the back, you are prepped for the Lippert Ladder. It's a couple hundred bucks, guys. It's like 250 You can buy it on Lippert's website. A lot of brands are doing this prep now. Uh, here is the on-the-go ladder sticker. You could get the QR code there and then purchase the ladder separately if you wanted to um, because then you don't have this ladder permanently affixed to the unit and you have a little bit less of a, uh, a little bit shorter coach. So you don't have to worry about necessarily, you know, backing into something with the ladder and denting it. Uh, you are pre-wired for the backup camera, right? Pretty easy, standard stuff. 30 amp power back here. Your dump tank station is right here. It sticks out quite a bit, which is easy because I don't have to bend over and, and, you know, bend down and around to get to it. However, it's kind of sitting low compared to the compared to the um, stabilizer jack back here. It's actually lower than the stab jack. So you just want to be careful going over very, I would not take this on very bumpy terrain because you don't want to pop that uh, tank dump out on the, on the road there. Uh, black tank flush, awesome. City water connections right here. Your fill, uh, your tank fill is there. I will list below the measurements and the specs on the tank sizes. Looks like you've got a six gallon gas electric water heater. It is not on demand. That is just fine with me. Got it, getting mixed feedback from the, the brands and companies about the on demand hot water heater. Comment down below if you have one and if you love it or if you don't like it. You know, let me know what your thoughts are on these water heaters because they're making big changes in the industry where some brands are completely going to tankless water heaters. Some brands are still shying away from them. Um, and yeah, I want to know your opinion. All right, let's head inside and check it out. All right, so from the doorway, I'm standing facing the kitchen. Nice big long countertop for the size of the unit. I mean, you're under 20 feet in total length, guys. You have a two burner cooktop here. You've got a little fan that goes outside. There's some storage up above here. Again, nothing fancy, nothing super crazy. Just enough for a weekend getaway for one or two people. Now, this is what I love, okay? Lots of storage underneath. They utilize every door, every drawer. Decent sized sink out here. And then, da 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 you have a Murphy bed, folks. Now, um, I wish sometimes that I would have it set up as a bed first because I feel like the aspect of pulling it out, people are like, I don't want to deal with that, Gabby. The Murphy bed is just, you know, it's too much. But hey, I just did it one-handed in less than 30 seconds while talking to you on the camera. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Okay. <laughs> um, so you have this full bed, guys. Really great. There's storage up above there. There's uh, two windows on either side, so you could open that and get a breeze in the cooler weather. Looks like there's USBs down there to charge your phone in the corner. One 10 outlet here. Maybe if you have a CPAP, you could put it up there. I'm not sure how long the cables are for the CPAPs, but USB, USC here as well. And this is your control panel here. So this is what I was referring to saying like, oh, I have to hit this awning button. And then it's all the way out there. I couldn't see if I was gonna hit the Aurora next door. So I had to kind of push it a couple inches and then check and then push it a couple inches and then check. And it was kind of frustrating. However, I missed this. It's got a one control app by Lippert. So you can actually run that system on your cell phone. I obviously have not set it up because this is not my camper. You know, it's still in the lot ready to be sold to some lucky family. So I see right there, connect, Bluetooth. Come on, Gabby, get with the picture. So uh, that would be the way that you could hook it up so you could run it without having to physically stand here and not be able to see the awning out there. Now you'll notice there is no slide out in this little baby. Nice and lightweight, she's under 3,000 pounds dry. Keep in mind, you still wanna be at least 1,000 pounds greater than the to towing capacity for your vehicle. So we'll put this away as I explain this. So you want, if it's 3,000 pounds dry, you want a vehicle that can handle at least 4,000 pounds dry. I know a lot of people come in, they've got these vehicles that can do a pretty much a very 
light amount of weight, like 3,500, and they want to push it with these. I would not, hold on a second, I got to use both hands. Okay, I would not necessarily recommend pushing that limit, guys, just because you don't know what you're going to put in it. Um, you don't know how it's going to handle. The more weight you can like give yourself, the more space and grace you can give yourself for pulling, the better and easier it will be to pull the unit. However, I know some people are limited with Jeeps and other small vehicles to so 3,500 pounds, and we do recommend about 1,000 pounds, but this exact weight is 2932, and I have had customers come in and say, yes, I feel comfortable doing that. I'm gonna pull it, let's do it. Up to you, okay? That's at your discretion. The dealer, as we would advise, 1,000 pounds of room there. All right, let's continue. On the left, when you first come in, right across from your couch during the day, so that's really nice, is, let's see, cup holder here, yep, yep, um, you've got a corner for a TV. Now, clearly, it's as simple as it comes, so all your, your, there's no bracket here. You're just going to, you know, put your TV up here. You've got your satellite and your connections there. There's the su sticker that says you're pre-wired for Wi-Fi, LTE, and internet. Would you call this a coach or would you call this a trailer or a bumper pull? Comment down below. What do you call it? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, you can sit here comfortably. Maybe one of you is watching TV. The other one is preparing breakfast inside or outside. And that's um, a nice space. I think they, the design of this is nice because even though there's no slide out, this is very open here. I mean, I don't feel crammed and closed into a little 16-foot unit. Sometimes they put too much stuff, and then there's no, like, walkable space, and you just feel like if it was a rainy day, I'd be trapped in here. This is very nice, guys. Um, upgraded AC. It's not an 8,000 BTU right there. Should actually be a 13.5 on the roof. Again, I will, I will put exact specs below. I never remember the stuff on these MSRPs. All right, across from the oven... Big, deep pantry, but they're missing doors. I would definitely pick up, oh, I almost just, <laughs> I just pushed the lighter on the oven with my backside. Um, okay, I would definitely recommend putting, what are they called? Like the bungee style covers here, you know, that you can like put your command strips and hook them in. And this way you have that protection of things not falling out while you travel, or you just put everything in a basket when you get there, then you unload it. Uh, when you're not moving. All right, insignia fridge. No freezer in this baby, okay? It's very easy, very simple. It is a 12 volt fridge, which is nice. And uh, then you have down below your <clears throat> breaker box here. Uh, you can see that this lead acid lithium sticker. Okay, guys, anybody asking about lithium batteries? That's the sticker you wanna look for on your breaker to determine if the converter, I think it's the converter, can handle a lithium battery. Some of them are pre prepared for it, some of them are not. That is a sticker that I usually ask parts, hey, is it lithium capable? And they say, go look for this sticker, Gabby. So that is what uh, I would recommend if you're looking at trailers and you wanna go with a lithium battery. Down there, it'll tell you if it's ready for it, or if they're gonna have to change some wiring so that it can handle that interior speaker there as well to play your music and then your tiny little popcorn microwave and um that about does it for the main living area of the unit the bathroom okay so i'm not walking into a toilet that's the first thing i notice is there's actually space here which is pretty nice there's a towel rack okay now what if i step into the shower and give you a full view you do have some linen storage. Again, no doors, kind of a bummer. And it's a plastic foot flush toilet, but again, we're at a price point unit. So some of the things you won't find luxurious, but they're definitely usable and campable. And you know, you're getting out there to enjoy the great outdoors. Um, not everybody cares about a porcelain throne. <laughs> okay, no toilet paper holder. So maybe put them in the bottom shelf there. And then turning around, there is an outlet here, but there's no mirror. So, I mean, blow drying your hair, things like that, you might have to bring a little mirror to do that. Other side, nice big shower with a fan in the skylight there. One thing I will say is this is water resistant, okay? they've You can see that they've, like, caulked here and it's prepared for water to hit it. So don't freak out when you look at this shower that there's no like sur plastic surround. A lot of times they actually install that plastic surround just for your peace of mind. And I've talked about it before, but there's usually a gap in the back and that's for condensation to get out. All of this is like ready to go and get uh, get wet. So you're okay. You see how it they, they seal it all the way to this point and then it's done. 
So you're you're all ready in the shower. Should do such a good job for you. And that's that's it, folks. That is the 16 RBX by Forest River Aurora here at Blue Compass in Castleberry, Florida. Blue Compass Orlando, if you want to go by our full name. And um, what do you think? Personally, I think it's a great little unit. It will do you wonders if you're looking for something simple, something easy to pull. Hey, Gabby, I just want somewhere I can sleep, somewhere I can hang out if it's raining, and a bathroom to use of my own. Then this is definitely a great model and option to think about. Uh, if you're interested in in the market, please contact me. My information is down below. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And until next time, happy camping.